So in the first 10-15 minutes, people are super excited to see that such a big truck, big rig is moving autonomously, driving through dense urban traffic, doing maneuvers, lane changes, mergers, all of this. And then the most interesting thing is, so after 10-15 minutes, it gets boring. Most people are a little bit disappointed, but we always say it's boring by design. Yeah? It should be boring because that means it's safe. One of the things we always look at when we design these systems, we design these trucks, is to ensure that we have a level of both redundancy, but also detection of any potential issues. If we potentially lose a sensor, for example, not only does the system detect it and continue to operate safely, we utilize what we call minimum risk conditions or minimum risk maneuvers that allow us to understand what is that safe next step to take for the truck. And that varies depending on the issue, and that could be everything from a sensor to you know, a steering motor, and what do you do at that point in time? And so we have an amazing team that dives in on those and figures out what is that appropriate safe behavior to take to that next step. The autonomous truck won't work without mission control, yeah? Mission control can always provide that routing guidance, that high level input, pretty similar to a dispatcher and driver manager. They're um, checking is the entire route safe to drive, always checking what's the health status of the truck, of the software. It's really needed, uh, especially to operate a fleet of autonomous trucks versus a single autonomous truck. But ultimately it's up to the autonomous truck to make its own call as to when it's appropriate to stop, get off and exit. Mission Control can provide that guidance, much like again, a, a driver manager may do today, but the truck is responsible as it goes down the road. And some of the unique benefits that aren't maybe as obvious at first with self-driving technology. You know, one of the most important ones that we found is really around the predictability of elements of a supply chain. So with mining, we see that with autonomous haul trucks and the predictability that you get going from the pit up to a crusher and how that has a positive effect on the overall network. And that's something we fully expect here with freight networks as well. The more predictable that middle mile, that long haul piece can get through self-driving technology, the better we can optimize that overall network. And one of those huge benefits that we see coming from self-driving technology. An autonomous truck doesn't care about hours of service or gets nervous and doesn't need rest. You can run it super smoothly. So while it runs, you can save a lot of fuel, up to 10% we, we do envision. An easy example is our vehicles can be more patient uh, if the fleet operator decides, you know, given time of day, they want to operate at 58 miles an hour rather than 65, we know that has fuel economy today, but it's something that it's very hard to get a human driver to do today because they want to move with the flow of traffic or they always want to be optimizing for hours of service. So being able to have another ability to optimize these assets uh, through whether it's, you know, telling it to drive slightly slower, whether that's through mission control, having great insights on future traffic and being able to launch in time, again, much like air traffic control might, time that flow of that asset through an area. The, the bar is more or less, we call it an exemplary driver. It's a driver that is never tired, never distracted, never texting, never overspeeding. Uh, so that's the bar that we want to reach. And uh, once we have reached and can also prove it, consistently, then we think it's safe to release the product. We firmly believe that a factory built solution is absolutely superior to any bolt-on solution. Yeah? So if a fleet's interested then in getting inside one of the trucks here, can they go ahead and do that? Just reach out to Torque? Yeah, of course. Reach out to Torque and we will make it happen. We are proud to show off our technology.